Be glad. If you caught it right the first time, you don't have to card again. Can you do cardigan? Cardigan. <laughs> you, you haven't, haven't seen, seen the last of me. me. <laughs> Never be no better. <laughs> Just say repeat. I'm not going nowhere. No. <laughs> You're literally I'm a sheer bitch. <laughs> Sleep boy. Where can we go? Deaf, and welcome to Dead Dragons. React to RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 8, Episode 7 Forensic Queens. Forensic Queens. Oh my god, I am Queens. Oh my god, it's like it it's, was meant to be. It's like us, except it's crime. Yes, and it's Drag Race like Queens who actually are professional and have a career. Don't know what that's like. But I will! <laughs> We'll get there eventually. All right, so last week, last week we Ooh. said goodbye to Jeb Mansfield. Oh yes, we did. We That's did. right. James is gone. James is done. Gooped, gagged, and gasping. I now. was, um, yeah, I was a bit surprised by that, considering Candy was like, "I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna stamp down these mm -hmm. rumors about me. Mm -hmm. I'm also playing fair, I'm track play fair, record, and then sends home the girl with the better track record." Mm, however, I am not going to. Look, I'm not gonna play shady right here, right now. No, do it. Play but shady. Play shady right here, right now. Well, the thing is, their track records weren't that dissimilar because Kahana had a win in three bottoms. James had no win in two bottoms. True. And her two high placements were questionable in my eyes. I mean, the first episode was definitely questionable. Yeah, she was in the top for missing the choreography. So a part of me is like, if I were on this season with that bitch right there, right then, mm -hmm. I would have been like, well, the judges love you. It's like, well, they're giving you a free pass, <laughs> yeah. but I'm not going to, honey, clutch yeah. my pearls. 100%. But Very. yes, and uh, who is our winner? Candy! True, yes! Candy, Candy. won the, the mm. musical. Yep, and for the first time, she wore a silhouette that was actually kind of interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> good on you, Candy. Really interesting episode. Yeah. A lot kind of happened, mm -hmm. and now there are more girls with wins. Yeah. And so now I'm like, we're getting down to that part of the race where mm -hmm. it's, it's really, we're getting to the end. Yeah. So who has wins and who doesn't yeah. really comes into play. All the girls are, are getting singled out at this point. Like, mm -hmm. the fine details are showing up. Mm -hmm. And they're showing out. Yep. And um, I'm glad to see some of the girls who have had some some interesting placements throughout the season. Maybe some placements that didn't quite match up with like reception, hmm. but like getting paid their dues. Like Lala Re getting in the top last episode, I was like, thank you, ma'am. She she deserves she that. She deserved that. She's a performance queen. Give them performance challenges, mm -hmm. girl. I was really I'm really hoping that like that's a little springboard for her, Lala yeah. specifically, to kind of mm. jump off and keep climbing because I want to mm. see Lala in the finale. Yeah, and I want I want to see Jessica Wilde get her next yes, win. Yes, thank you. As she fucking deserves. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, should we jump into it? <laughs> ah! Mm. Yes, Lala. Oh, she's feeling a fantasy. She's feeling a Grace Jones fantasy. As she should. She looks fantastic. Ah. Uh -huh. Shit in one of your spots. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck trying to figure out who. Do you know One of the what? seats might smell a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was a lot of shit. Yeah. Just a bit. Mm. Just in one of their chairs. So every time. Just a smear. Just a smear. Just a little bit of a like, uh, skid mark. Just oh, a yeah. skid mark. You know what? On I would have done, done. I would have dehydrated my turd. All right. I would have gone home, gone to the hotel room, shat to my hands, roasted out in the, in the open sun for a little bit, powdered it down. Gone to all of their makeup kits, taken out the brown shadows, and dusted it in. Just a little bit of my turd into each of their shadow palettes. And then they're gonna slowly wonder why it's turning white. Yeah! <laughs> One for James. One for James. Alright. Two for James. Hey, Kahana actually got an open this time. Three for mm. James. Really quickly. She's ah. had a lot of practice. Yeah. <laughs> Bottoming pays off for some girls. Mm hmm. One for Kahana. Which is James's. Yeah. Deb, unanimous. We knew this from the untucked. Mm -hmm. We knew this from the untucked. I'm still kind of gagged that it went from a unanimous vote for Kahana mm -hmm. to a unanimous vote for James. Well, I want to hear what their reasonings are. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, vibe. If the vibes are off, girl, then. I am. Yeah. The bottles are getting to me. And it's just hard to yeah, win. when they flock into the clubs. 
<laughs> they come straight to the, the front of the stage, bitch. getting to me. Who let them in here? Mm. I'm honestly at this point surprised that Kahana has made it this far. I'm happy that she has. I love Kahana. Mm. But I'm surprised with the amount of bottoms that she's had that she's made it to this point in the competition. Yeah. I don't know, part of me is like, Kahana is more than the bottom she's been given. Oh yes, yeah. she did incredibly well in last week's challenge. She's phenomenal. Arguably, could have been saved. Despite her being in the bottom a lot, I think the queens also understand that she's playing a good game. You yeah. Know? So, and that's why, instead of unanimously voting her off this time, mm -hmm. they went with the next They bitch. were like, you know what, you actually did well. Yeah. Why would we send you off on something you've done well? Uh-huh. Oh, she is gorgeous. Mmm. Who is that lady? Uh, who that name, woman? The name did come up on screen, but I was not reading. Ah, subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm back in the line, baby. Oh Lala's taking all of her moments this episode. Mm -hmm. She's saying, you know what, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make space for myself right here, right now. You know what she's doing? What? She's going. You know what? I haven't got to win this competition. Let me at least make some fucking television. Yeah. She said screen time. I'm mm -hmm. taking my screen. But now I'm kind of scared. Every time you know, it's a give just, or take. Yeah. You're not careful. They can get you thirty to life. Okay. Some sort of like crime, crime show. Yeah. Well, I think we got that from the title. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. What was it? Detective Queens or something? Crime, Inspector crime scene queen, queen. Inspector Gadget. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Inspector Faggot, honey. <laughs> I inspect one every night. Oh, I'm such a slut. By looking in the mirror? Yeah. <laughs> Forensic, Forensic queen. Forensic queen. Mm. There we go. So it's a crime series. Yeah. Is it gonna be one of like one of those like you know those uh true crime documentaries? Oh no, it's about little pound cake! Oh my god! I hope Alaska gets a, uh, a mention. Yeah, well, she, she's on the screen now. I mean, I hope she gets a check. Yeah, she's gonna get royalties out yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so they have to be characters. Yes. <laughs> so is this gonna be a scripted? You'll be actually without a script. Oh, they just answered my question. Right, it's an improv challenge. Yeah, an improv crime series. These challenges are getting more and more diluted as the seasons pass on. I'm, I'm gonna see a little bit gagged that I feel like we've had about six acting challenges. Mm, mm. Like, I feel like we've had one ball and where's six the, acting challenges. Where's the next design challenge? Yeah! Where is the design challenge? I'm like, give me another, give me something else. I feel like I've just mm. watched them do this the last four weeks. Ultimately, this is an improv challenge, so it's very important to find a character that I can really make myself laugh with. See, improv is kind of scary to me, not gonna lie. Improv can be, because you kind of, you have to go with your gut. Mm -hmm. You just have to go, yes and. You really have to trust the character that you have mm -hmm. and that you've developed alongside the character that's written there for you. Which is yeah. why like going with a character that you can like see yourself in mm -hmm. or make somewhat of your personality or your humor yeah. is so quintessential. Yeah. Come on quintessential. Please welcome to the stage. Quintessential. Kahana is over it. Because I have been <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, no, you're so right. <laughs> Kahana is scared. Mm -hmm. As she should be. She's bottom in pretty much all the acting Every challenges. single acting challenge she has been in the bottom four, yeah. basically. Okay. Wow, she was really not fighting for the role. She said, you know what? I'll take whatever I can get at this point. Just give me something and I'll figure it out. She literally is sitting there being like, well. That's my time. Thank you, everyone. Thank yeah. you. I'm, I'll pack my bags now. Mm. Yeah. This sounds really funny. Oh, Alexis has a tiger eye earring in. She's trying to quell the anxiety. Mm. Keep it grounded. She's bringing inner strength into her mm. spirit and her chakra. I don't think it's working. I mean, does it increase your bitchiness? <laughs> she hasn't been too bitchy, no. Alexis. Maybe she'll cry again. Defeated. <laughs> Defeated. Oh, her and Candy have what the same role. Oh, here we go. So maybe you could. Let that one go. <laughs> oh, we know that candy's not gonna let it go. I don't understand why, like, you should get your first choice. Like, how come I don't get my first choice? Well, I said, this is what I like. I know what I'm doing. So did I. We just said I was a detective, and I was an attorney. I don't like the passive aggressiveness. That's not passive aggressiveness. That's not how that works. Don't try to trick me into any role that I don't want. I don't appreciate. Like some of the attitudes in this room right now. Ooh. Some of the attitudes? Okay. Alexis is coming after a few of the girls in the room now. Mm -hmm. She's not building her chances too high right now. She's pretty much digging her own grave in case she falls mm -hmm. in the bottom. Okay, so they got to the end of it. <gasps> Wait, She's crying it. again. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Good TV! 
Thanks, Alexis. <laughs> Someone show me Jessica's face. She always gives the best side yeah. eye for these. She gives the Alexis stank face. She's literally every time Alexis has cried. Yeah. Jessica has been like. The dramatic, the crying, I can't anymore. Just gesturing <laughs> aside, it's hilarious. Wow, she was really perturbed by this. Mm. I mean, yes, it's a competition. Yeah. And when you don't get what you what you want in a competition. You make it work, Alexis. <gasps> She's questioning if the competition setting is a place for her. Is she gonna fucking leave? Is this her? No, not another one. We can't have another one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> red wine on me. She kind of dresses Elvis. I was like, she kind of looks like a, a cheer squad leader, <laughs> or like a track a track. It's squad. Elvis as a track squad leader. Yeah, exactly. Okay, she's really roughed up by this. <gasps> no! No! Not another one in the same season, bitch! Imagine if Kahana and Alexis walk out together hand in hand right now. No, Kahana, oh! you're not actually doing this. You're not actually doing this. Kahana and Alexis both want to leave right now. Girl, how toxic is this fucking room? Oh my god. It's a competition. You signed up for a competition. She's already you packing. You compete. She's what? She's packing. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. They would, they would literally have to call James back just to fill out the rest literally of the Literally bring Heidi back. Mm. Oh, James, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> you absolute monster human. <laughs> Wait, oh, Rue's in. Oh, what's happening? What is happening? Rue's about to preach a sermon to these girls. We don't have to talk, ladies. I just want to set you straight before you make any mistakes that you can't undo. You're having all these feelings. Of course you're gonna have these feelings. You're under a lot of pressure. Alexis is like a little child, like nodding and scrunching their hands, like, yeah, yes, dad. Yes, dad, please help me, dad. Hold my hand. And is there, like, please just let me leave. Yeah. Alexis is just a sensitive soul. Yeah. Alexis is just a soft person, and that's fine. And Kahana has been pushed into all these acting challenges. When she was like, there might be one or two acting challenges, mm. and then every week is an acting challenge. Yeah. Kahana, you feel like you're ready to pack your shit and go? <gasps> no, I'm, no, I'm here for you. What, and, and, and I'm here for me. That's mm. right, that's the right answer. Ooh, and you, yes. Child, you've been crying this whole cup of <laughs> 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 Who knows? Have fun. Yeah. This is yeah. a fun experience. Yeah. Is it? Okay, good. Are we sure? We have One girl's already left, two mm. more trying to leave. How fun can it be? I mean, respect on Mama Ru coming yeah. in and being like, let's let's talk this out. But why couldn't they do that when Heidi was packing? They did it this time because they needed a sixth girl for this acting challenge. Yeah, facts. Producer stepped in and said, RuPaul, we need you because we're about to have a, as as they said just previously, she emergency. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She hergence she. She her them she. <laughs> she emergency was just fine. Thank you. They them. Thank you. <laughs> Are you done? I'm done. I need to win, okay? I don't want to win. Yes! <laughs> this lime green future background. The shadow. Yes. You just literally let yourself go. This I is it! Learn! Ask questions! She's yeah. like, I'm, I'm done, I'm out of here, I'm leaving. Yeah. But I'm like, ask questions, ask your sister's questions. Well, she's doing it now, girl, she's doing it now. And the thing with Kahana is that she's done incrementally better with every acting challenge that's passed. I agree! Even Snatch Game, arguably, she did Coco Montrese. She hit a few funny lines. Yeah. Like, she wasn't that bad in Snatch Game. No, she's just, she's way too in her head. Yeah. Kahana! Kahana's Snatch Game could have won on season 14. I mean, she would have had one competitor. One con <laughs> one competitor! But yes, I do see your point. Mm. Yeah, Jimbo's keeping it real with her. I appreciate the girls who show up and help out the other girls in the room. Yeah. Because it, it's indicating you're not a threat to me. I know what I'm capable of and I'm doing well and I'm, I will continue to do so. I will help you out so that you can at least meet the standards you wish to meet in this episode. Yeah, growth. Yeah. We remember, like, a few episodes ago, we passed commentary on how Jessica's only downfall is that English is 
not her first language. Yeah. Which is going to be a struggle in the improv challenges if we have improv challenges this season. But also, we said that about like her singing when she couldn't sing well and then she True. thought it through. True. True. I mean, but we knew Jessica could sing because she, I think she won or almost won the live sing challenge on season two. I don't remember. So. Yeah. I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, too many drugs. And like, I want to do that today. I want to have fun with you. I don't know, the thing with Alexis is that she doesn't seem to have a lot of fun. She talks about having fun. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. She doesn't find the joy in things or even just like engaging and communicating. Like there's no like quips and jokes a lot of the time. It's very like serious conversation and painting. Everything is da 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 da. Ah, yes. Have a kiki girl! Mm, let yeah. loose! Let, let loose! Ooh, that was... Not the right key. Drag queens were set to begin production. Oh, here we go. We're it's starting, starting, starting. Popular competition series. Well, that came with no prompt. No one was more excited than season five fan favorite. My God. Hilarious. Shortly after her arrival. Just call her pheromone. That's fine. Oh, is this where Paul's doing the voiceover? Mm hmm It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> This, I feel like this is what it feels like to listen to RuPaul on tape. Yeah. Like reading a book. Mm -hmm. Little Pound Cake was unstoppable. Oh, hell, Little Pound Cake. Those are different Little Pound Cakes. Mm hmm. Those faces are different, girls. She got, she got Botox. Mm hmm. Honey, she went and visited Trinity the Tuck Doctor. Had, she had the, did you see Jessica Wilde just washing a fish? <laughs> I will have to go back and watch that a hundred times in my free time. Decorated pageant. Another fish. Fox was also contested <laughs> on the lost sea. I didn't like the bitch. The makeup okay. was terrible. But I have become a bigger bitch. And that's real growth. <laughs> <laughs> that's Amen! Amen! Yeah. Honestly, Kahana's kind of doing it for me. Kahana's giving. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it! What is this? They let her ride the golf cart. <laughs> Little Chucky? <laughs> like the doll? Yeah. Hello? The banana! <laughs> what is happening? I'm more of a nosy ass bitch. The nosy ass bitch quickly made it. Oh, this is so good. And oddly, a small calico cat named Evie Oddly. <gasps> a pussy. That is so shady! What? Because Evie Oddly's been throwing World of Wonder under the bus after her run on All Star 7. Oh! And like, these, these hoes are like ruining a girl's lives and shit like that. And like, not holding their true selves, bitch. And now they're just, they just throw us an, an undercut. They just called her a pussy. Called her a pussy. Crazy. She called her ETB card. She got the letters wrong. She never left the car because she loved to celebrate Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> That's her favorite with guacamole. <laughs> guacamole is expensive. She's not gonna leave it. <laughs> yes! 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 Y
happened? Hold on, scene. Ooh. Oh! I didn't do anything. She is though. Disappear later, pound cake. It was in my thought because that blood is love. <laughs> Descriptive. If you're a slutty slut, put your hands up. Mm. If you're a slutty slut, honestly, put your my hands top two up. so far is Jessica and Lala. Yeah. Oh, I forgot she was in this episode. <laughs> oh, there's an Alexis. This case has more holes in it than Michelle Visage. Is she just playing the character from the SNL skits? The Michelle Visage Jersey fanatic? I think she might be. She's definitely taken inspiration. Yeah. But I will say the look is right for the character and yes. the wig is right. And the attitude is mm. right. Now where's my twenty five dollars at? That's Lala. Well, I don't like spending money on myself. Well, I don't like spending money on myself. Well, I don't like this is still going. This is one of the longest acting challenges of all time, surely. That was just Toad. That was Toad. <laughs> La La Toad confirmed. You know there are closed circuit cameras all over the premises. <laughs> Fish mouth, the puckered fish mouth. They. They. Oh, sexy I'm slutty, slutty slut sex. Where's the evidence against this eloquent? Like with big right? Did you eat your last night up? Okay, Lala is literally giving it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Death drop on the prison Lala! chair, bitch. Yes. Stop. <laughs> Ruinactment. That's security. Is that Kahana? That was straight up RuPaul. Are you serious? I think that was RuPaul. That's not RuPaul. No, that is RuPaul. That's RuPaul. That's RuPaul. You will never be glamour. What you said? The gun reference. There was no glamour at a drag con this year. Come on, bitch. Oh my god. We're watching RuPaul tear apart little bound gate <laughs> ten seasons later. <laughs> this is Alaska wild. found dead in an alley. Yeah. Found the body. Oh, we <sighs> wow. Ain't that some shit? The security. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, duck face, duck face girl. The pores, the beads oh. of sweat. The graphics and definition. <laughs> they really, they, they pumped that contrast up real mm, hard. They did her dirty girl. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Too good. I knew I, I was gonna win my season. And I got nothing. Jessica looks so good. She always does. She was beautiful. Me, <sighs> do you want what come on? Can I be Jessica? <laughs> I'm like, yes. And I can pay for extra work on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anna also looks beautiful. Yeah. But again, it's just like young Wendy Williams. Yeah. See you next Taco Tuesday, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really long challenge. But that slapped. That, that really a great time. That was actually pretty fun, I mm -hmm. will say. My favorites? Uh -huh. Jessica? Uh huh. Lala Reed! Those are my top two. Top two for sure. If they have to be the, like in the top, there's mm -hmm. no question about it. Who do you reckon it didn't do too well in that challenge? This might be, I don't know, like I don't think Candy didn't really do it for me in this one. Yeah, she didn't really have a lot of bits. She didn't really have anything. Yeah. Kahana was fine. Kahana was fine. Kahana did a good job. Honestly, I Probably think. Alexis. Yeah, Alexis. Alexis again just seemed a bit too like, uh, like finger up her ass. Just without any of the payoff. Under the radar, without any loot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I'm like, I feel like Jimbo shoulder. should be safe. Like Jimbo yeah. was funny, but Honestly, I was like, yeah. Jimbo and Kahana, I feel like we're my safe too. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree. I could swap Kahana and Candy. Candy was committed to be had a lot of scenes, mm. but I feel like Kahana. I don't know. She just. I laughed at more of her beats than I laughed at Candy's. Yeah, Candy was just kind of um there. Like I was like, she didn't really come up with anything. Though I was like, ha ha, that's funny. Yeah. So proud of Kahana mm -hmm. for sticking around and pulling through. Yeah, and she did a good job. She did. She did a fantastic job. Her acting choices and just her acting in general is just getting better incrementally every yeah. time. So next thing you know, she's gonna be on um, Law and Order. <laughs> Law and Order. <laughs> Law and Order. <laughs> Law and Order. <laughs> Please don't say Law and Order. Hey. And girl, you know, yesterday was one of those days where brows look crazy. Always. <laughs> it's the Batmobile, bitch. Batmobile? <laughs> yeah. It's giving, it looks like um the bat meringue, the bat boomerang thing. The bat, uh, the bat meringue. <laughs> bat meringue. <laughs> said, yeah. You don't want to burn any bridges or meet anybody. A reason mm. to pull your lipstick. But also by the same token, you're not technically burning bridges. Like, you're all on a competition reality TV show. So like, yeah. where there's drama, fuel the drama. Because it's gonna give storyline, it's gonna lead to credence to like mm -hmm. in, in further opportunities for things. Give them a storyline to work on you with. Mm. But like also reconcile after the show's over. Yeah! Get to or, the show, reconcile afterwards. Or towards the end of the season, so you have a redemption arc and people come to like you again. Uh huh. And you show that you're a grown person. And when are you gonna start doing that? And never. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, once you once you stop being a salty little bitch, Mitch. Oh, but never. <laughs> yeah, Mitch. <laughs> When you hit the 40s, you think, oh my god, maybe my period is over. That's yeah, right, Jessica's in her 40s. Jessica's in her 40s? Yeah. yeah. Remember, she was on Drag Race like 13 years ago. Yeah. 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 Why does she look so good? I know, right? <laughs> what do you do? What's your skin routine? <laughs> oh. Damn, the body though. Oh! What was the best thing? You better work! You better work! From the state of California! Yeah. This 80s cut leotard with the fishnets. It. Hot. And that's what my parole officer tells she me. She looks so good. She the rainbow stunning. eye. Her and his giant orange earrings. Mm -hmm. Her hair looked fabulous as well. Mm -hmm. She is so stunning. <laughs> she is beautiful. Come on, baby. The skin is glowing. Cat bodies. Miss fill in the blank. Miss fill in the blank. Um, so does that mean that they get to like choose their runway? I don't know what that means. I mean they always Maybe, get a description, but yeah, like a miss like a miss universe sort of thing. Maybe? Jessica oh. Wilde. What is this? What? Tonight what? Runway, I am Miss Sausage <laughs> 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 Oh my god! She said, I am the full orgy. I'm not gonna lie, she is looking like she's holding a giant shit. Yeah! It's James Mansfield shit, bitch. She found it. <laughs> And she put it on a runway, you know, yeah. box two, that's improv, honey. She put on a couple Diamantes and said, yeah. we're ready to go. Yeah, she looks gorgeous, though. Oh, this is camp. This, this is, is high great. camp. This is good. I, I mean, like, Miss this sausage, sausage party. The sausage crown that oh. she's got going on. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that wig. That wig is crazy. With the tassels on the top. What does she miss? Tied ass showgirl. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. I don't, I'm not particularly fond of that fringe arm. I I'm not gonna lie, but. like the fact that she's chosen tired ass showgirl, but she doesn't seem tired. I would have like made that a whole thing. Make it yeah. a stick. Come out and be tired, you know? Like yeah. really act like you're over it, you she's know? She's just, again, showgirl. Yeah. What? What is this? What is this? The wigs on the bag? Miss Bootlegger. Oh, I can't. What is this My runway? God. It's always ah! just. Aisha Harris Drag Race! Yes! With the tacky weaves. I can't. Tacky watches. This is hilarious. And then the name's on the back. I love it. Bootlegger. Oh, okay, like a bootleg. Okay. Yeah, I was like, bootlegger? Miss Arrogant. The wig's incredible. That wig is insane. I like this outfit for yeah. how abstract it is. Me too. But I don't understand how it relates to... How is it arrogant? How is this arrogant? How is this a representation of arrogant? Because she has three crowns in her Oh, wig. okay. But the outfit, though... But that's the hair. Still, yeah. like, the hair I get. 
the actual outfit, how does it give Ariel? Yeah, uh-huh. But she looks fabulous. Honestly, you shouldn't come out as in a gown that just had your name written on it. Yeah. And that's arrogance. Miss Man Pig. Man Pig. Man Pig. Man Pig. Honey, the bottom of that dress is giving yoke. <gasps> She's a jock strap. Oh! She's a giant jock strap. Alexis last. She's a dick pig. And Alexis did indeed come last. Yeah, good for her. The bottom always does. Oh, and this oh, is the bandana. Yeah. Right. Okay, I, I, I get it. I get the reference. Okay. Is the yellow meant to be a piss stain? Maybe. Good for her. Get in the shower, stuff. Whatever it's a jock strap, does that mean someone just pissed in their underwear and she decided to wear it? <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Here's the big tits oh, back again. Oh, here we go. What does she <laughs> miss? What? I am serving Miss Tits McGay. Tits McGee. Miss Tits McGee. She said she's doing an Australian accent. She said Tits McGay 2003. Tits McGay. No, Tits McGee. She looks fabulous. This looks great. I mean, it's all about the titties. This looks like um like a skirt or something you picked up from like a like a two dollar store that would be like a little girl's party dress or like a pom pom or something. I don't like it. <laughs> Welcome, queen. I don't like it. She looks it. like a translucent <laughs> peach. <laughs> Miss Sausage Party, which was my nickname in junior high. We know. When, when Carson said that was my nickname in high school, I was like, yeah, but back then they didn't call them nicknames. They called nomenclatures. Because you're from the 1800s, bitch. <laughs> so old she is. What? A nomenclature is a nickname. Oh, great. It's just the old fashioned word for it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It was enjoyable to watch because I wasn't nervous. Mm. Yes. There was a click that I was like, girl, this ain't serious. Just go with it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let loose. And I did. That was the funnest I had in the competition so far. Yes, Diva! Yes! I'm so happy for her! Oh, Kahana deserves yes. to feel joy. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I sound like Voldemort? Avada <laughs> <laughs> Stinkfinger. I really want La La to do well. I want I La La to win. This is this is La La's episode so far for me. This was your chef. Yes! <laughs> Up and show out. I think my issue with you, Kenny, was I was excited for you to play a character and I felt like you were playing you. Mm. Finally! Hold the bitch out. Oh, my words have been heated! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Your words have Finally, been Finally, Candy heated, gets bitch. called out for just doing candy! You didn't go far away from the candy character, which is fine with me because I love the candy character. No, it's not! I was a little confused because you were saying that. You were not a real detective, but then you were in the interrogation room. You were a detective. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Yeah. If any other girl did that, they would have been red for it. Well, the thing is, we gotta give credence where credence is due. Candy is a fun character. Yeah, true. Candy is so effervescent and dynamic that Candy playing Candy is already interesting enough. When you're not looking at all of like the backwater production shit that's going down. Fair, valid, like true. Candy. Watching Candy be Candy on a stage would be entertainment value. She is pure entertainment, entertainment value. value. Yeah. So. Like I, I fully, I understand the Candy character. I understand uh -huh. it's, it's brilliant. She's funny. She's good to look at. She's wonderful. Just do something else. Yeah. <laughs> Bring something to the table. <laughs> That isn't just beef stroganoff every night! <laughs> every single <laughs> night! Beef oh, stroganoff! Ah, oh. yeah. Oh. Alexis is getting the reads. Uh -huh. Okay, so they love the look, but they didn't like the actual acting challenge to the broom. Reckless abandoned. Yes, that's what she's missing. She's missing some sort of chaos. Yeah. She's missing risk. <gasps> yeah! Challenge in Drag Race Hursery. And she not want to challenge She's never won a challenge. She went out episode four in her first season. Jimbo. And she's been playing safe to high throughout this damn. season so far, so. Khan <gasps> is in the bottom? You are in the bottom, all stars of the week. Khan is in the bottom. Thank you, all stars. Candy's safe. 
Yeah, Rigor Morris, girl. I, I honestly think this could have been the episode where they could have had a bottom three. They could have made I, I agree with you. Oh, wow. Oh, Kana did so well. Mm. Oh, I'm so happy to see Lala lip sync. Yeah. We're about to get the full Lala re experience. Look how good she goddamn looks. Mm. She's been holding on to that outfit for a lip sync. She has chains on her nails. Yes, bitch. She's ornaments. Been, ornaments. She came back as the Christmas tree. Yeah. She is the boom boom guy. <laughs> she looked good though. She yeah. looked eloquent. <laughs> <laughs> eloquent. She's eloquent. Now, do you reckon Lala would pick Alexis or Kahana? I feel... I don't know, because she said she's not voting on track record. She says she votes by how she feels on the day. Yeah, so she could honestly be like, Alexis didn't give it to me today, mm. bye. Or she could be like, Kahana hasn't been doing well recently, bye. bye. Oh, that's a, that's a short queen. And she's got a very specific pose. Someone who can hold themselves well. Yeah. Mm. Gigi, oh, could Gigi, be Gigi, could be Gigi. Yeah, imagine. Ah! Now there's Georgia's! We're about to have one of the best lip syncs. Oh, I'm so ready for this! We're about to have one of Punch the, the best ghost. lip syncs. Punch, Punch the ghost. Sorry, but why are the why are the lip syncers a better cast than the actual season? Ah! Stop! Stop right there! Don't be that shady, bitch! Don't be that shady! Now I'm wondering who the girls voted for. Is this gonna be a hung parlor parliament? A hung parlor? A hung parliament? Darling, mm. I don't know. I haven't actually dated Parliament before. You're but sure. if he's hung, I'll get oh, into I'll it. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. What's the song gonna be? Now, Georgia's, they're both good, like, characteristic lip syncers. They're incredibly performative. Yes! Lizzo number. Where are we about to get our first Lizzo number that is done well? Maybe. Yes, Lala. Oh, Georges is doing it! Mm -hmm. They both look so good. Mm -hmm. Georges just knows how to like capture energy. Mm -hmm. Her face. Mm. Oh, Lalaries looks so happy. She does. Ooh! So whoop! Whoop! Yes, Lala! Oh, yeah. They're both kind of equally matched for me right now. Yeah, neither of them have done anything crazy. Yeah. For me to be like, yeah. I mean, Lala's oh. the energy and Georgia's has like captivation. Won the lip sync for me. She is so fierce. Yes! The joy! The radiance! Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> she said, and split and slide! Yeah. She said, roll through, roll through. But she made it work, honey! Mm -hmm. Georges was like, oh, it's over? Yeah. <laughs> she was still lip syncing. No. Lala. It's gotta be Lala. Damn! Lala just beat out the lip sync assassin Give of um, Lala. season 14. Mm -hmm. Lala, yes! 10,000 doodles! Period, bitch. What? And she looks like Gucci doing so. Mm -hmm. Yes, mama! Mm -hmm. That pays for some of your outfits. <laughs> oh, here we go. So this is Lala's choice. Mm. And her choice might be different to the groups. I don't know who she's gonna pick. I don't know who she's gonna pick in this moment. I mean, rationality to me says one thing, but she already said she's not going off that. Mm -hmm. This is a real wild card fucking moment. <laughs> Give me your hands. Give me your man hands. I'm gonna try and cover my vagina. Just give me that hand. But I have Charlton. Oh, Alexis was surprised too, bitch. She was like, I was about to go down with this shit. Oh, Lala's crying. But the fame games have just begun. I wouldn't be surprised if Kahana took the fame games. She's got some beautiful looks. Mm -hmm. Oh, sad music, sad music time. The sad music time. Oh, sister I love how happy she is for herself. Yeah. Look at that joy. And she's going out looking a million fucking dollars. A million. Unlike that time Denali went home in someone else's drag. Don't mean to call a bitch out. Yeah. I came in as a showgirl, but I'm leaving as a superstar, babe. Yes. Yeah, 
Yes! Work the world, darling! You know she's going to be first call for the Work the World tour. She's already plugging it. Yeah. They told her if you say something about Work the World, we'll rehire you. Yeah. <laughs> you better love. Oh, Alexis is thankful. Look at her swooping in for that, that deep low hug. Do you reckon it's because Alexis and Lala want to bang each other? I reckon it's because Alexis and... I'm going to say Alana. <laughs> Alexis. And Alana's, Alana's Morissette. And, uh, <laughs> Alexis and Lala, wristy. Resting. Resting already. Oh bitch, they're plunging. They're plunging. Those they're... six feet that we talked about Alexis digging before earlier in the episode. That was in Lala. <laughs> <laughs> all six feet, bitch. All six feet, bitch. <laughs> Alexis just went swan dive and just tucked all of her limbs up at once. In one hand, <laughs> out the other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a that was honestly uh, a very different episode. Yeah, that was a fantastic episode. It was it was a challenge, something that I feel like we haven't quite seen on RuPaul's Drag Race. No, we, we've seen like crime series and like whodunits and like mm. you know murder mysteries and horrors and things like that. But done to to that sort of nuance. Yeah. That sort of like it was a specific time period. Those like two thousands like crime shows. But it was like all. Petty crime, yeah. Like it was, it was like you know, like Judge Judy level crime. It wasn't I mean, anything crazy. A girl got murdered. She, she was. She came a dog. back at the end. She's yeah. fine. <laughs> it's like Team Wolf or mm. Supernatural. You die and you come back. It's or Doctor Frankenstein. That yeah. one too. Yeah. Except yeah. that's different people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sad to see Kahana go. Yes. But I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really, really glad that she got to have that moment of joy. Yeah in the episode and while mm -hmm. she was leaving and go, you know what, I'm leaving, but I came here and I did something I'm proud of yeah. and I'm, now is my time and I understand that. She was yeah. probably also just really relieved. She was like, fucking finally, mm. it's done. Yeah, honestly, like kudos to her for sticking it out and pulling mm. through, as we said earlier in the episode, but like, the fact of the matter is, the girls who choose to leave when they choose to leave don't get to see things out and how they play out and the love that they receive in doing so yeah. in that moment of vulnerability that they're doing so. Mm -hmm. This episode, although Kahana did well and arguably could have been safe, you know, Give she placed in the bottom, she took it as, as it is mm -hmm. at face value and then she received the love from RuPaul and the girls around her to be like, you know what, this was the ending that I deserve to have in this moment and I will come back bigger and brighter when I need to. Fully support that for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And congratulations to Lala Ray who got yes! a fucking win! Lala baby! Yeah! Oh, she is such a star. She I'm is a superstar. So happy for her. Mm -hmm. This is, after seeing that like, you know the CCTV cameras and she's just like. Yeah. <laughs> That was the me. moment I knew. Yeah. That was the moment. The thing is, this was Lala's episode. And like, Lala in season 13 mm -hmm. had a lot of confessional time. We all fell in love with her in the four mm -hmm. episodes she was on. And even despite her not being there for like the 72 episodes that went on after she was eliminated. True. She still won Miss Congeniality and no one contested. And yeah. this is exactly why she is such a fierce spirit. And she just does the damn thing so well like no one else can do. So. And she's just like, she's a feel-good queen. Yeah. She's a feel-good queen. You can't help mm -hmm. looking or watching her without being like, damn, yeah, I feel good. She gives me big Monet exchange vibes season two. Yes. Like sometimes the runways are a miss, mm -hmm. but you know the performance quality is going to be top-notch. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Well, thank you so much for coming and watching us today. Please come and join us again soon for whatever comes out next on our channel. Yes, we'll be back in our own season. That's coming at some point in time in the future, yeah. Yes, and to continue on from that, do not forget to like and to comment. That's where you type the letters down below and let us know how you feel about this, in a good way, of course, only. And subscribe and click that notification bell so that we can keep coming back up on your screen, whether you like it or not. We're not going anywhere else, so um, may as well keep us there, right? Yeah. I'm the Sheila B. Right. And I'm the Porsche Deaf.